you said that you'd possibly uh, start human trials with the gene therapy on a patient with Alzheimer's. Have you guys started that um, at all? No, it's, it's actually been delayed until May 1st. May 1st? Okay. Yeah. It's just a, it's like, it's like an, I'm an orchestra leader conducting a big orchestra. Yes. And if not everything is working right and stuff like that, we have to delay. And that's what's happened. So, um, but it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get done soon. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. How long will the, the gene therapy take? Um, well, the gene therapy, it's, it's pretty much delivered in one day. How long, how long did it take to actually so, show uh, if it's going to reverse aging? We don't know yet, okay? In mice, it took three weeks, but it could take three months in humans. Is there any possible way that you guys can use CRISPR-Cas9 to deliver the telomeres to the new chromosomes? Yeah, okay, well, first of all, let me say CRISPR-Cas9 is more of a marketing ploy than yes. anything else. Um, Gene editing has been around for 20 plus years, and we've been doing it a lot here. But it, it's, it's, we've been using the what's called the zinc finger method. And, uh, you know, people who invented the zinc finger method just don't want to stoop to the level of the people that are promoting uh, CRISPR because it's just, a, it's just an effort to try to get press and raise money to do more research. But the big problem with uh, gene editing is the delivery method, okay? Nobody's figured out a way to deliver it to all the cells in the person. Mm -hmm. Sure, they can do it in a human cells in a Petri dish when they're just delivering it to one cell. But, and then they can grow that cell up, but it hasn't really been worked. So we, we have, like over 10 years ago, done gene editing to study uh, induction, to study how the telomer machine gets turned on and off. Uh, and and we've, we've done things to like, Put the telomeres gene under control of different promoters, but um, there's there's there still does not exist a way to deliver it to every cell in the body. And I believe the people that are leading in that field to get that developed is a group focused on uh, uh, the zinc finger approach, and that company is called Sangamo. S A N G A M O. <clears throat> if you were to Google them. I think you'd be pretty surprised to see the kind of stuff they're doing that uh, the people doing CRISPR only dream about doing. Yes. Now, is that more efficient than the AAV method? Well, AAV is a gene delivery method. Oh. Whereas CRISPR is a gene editing method. <clears throat> so, and the gene editing method still needs a way to deliver it. And <clears throat> AAV is a promising way to deliver the gene editing but it's not really efficient enough. We're actually working on, we've filed several patents so far, and I've actually have one issued already. Uh, we're, we're working on ways of, of improving the delivery system. Uh, I read somewhere that using lengthening telomeres uh, to add more nucleotides to telomeres actually increases the chance of someone developing cancer. Is that true at all? Not one bit. In fact, Send, send me an address so that I can mail my books, or have I already asked you for that? Uh, uh, no, yeah, I can um, give you my address, yes. Email me an address to mail you my books, and I can, my second book called Telomere Lengthening, I have a whole chapter on that because the rumors are just getting out of control. Yes. Uh, you can also go to my website. Um, I don't know if you're on a computer right now, but uh, if you go to my website at www.sierrasci.com, actually a video of me speaking in Tokyo. It's called the Tokyo Presentation 2017. And this was a presentation I gave to something like 500 doctors in Tokyo. Wow. And the night before the presentation, the woman that won the Nobel Prize for my research. <laughs> and she I remember I watched the presentation of, I don't know who it is, but someone you know, and they were saying like that you discovered the telomeres proteins and then I googled who discovered it, and it was uh, that lady, and I was I was really yeah. confused. So yeah, telomeres does not cause cancer. The video and my book address that. It actually proves shows that the lack, the opposite is true. The lack of telomeres causes cancer. And uh, one one analogy that's not in the book and stuff like that. Uh, it yes.
Uh, also, well, if you end up do finding a way to reverse aging in humans, what's the next step after that? Like, what are you going to do? Oh, well, me personally, I'm, I just want to make the world a happier and healthier place. Uh, my business plan goes into great detail about when we start making a lot of money, all that money is going to go back into research. Uh, I want to be, be, I want to create a new funding institution that is not criminal. Okay. Yes. Uh, most of the granting organizations and stuff like that right now are just incredibly criminal. The money goes to the wrong places. People should never invest money in them because their money is misused. Uh, but I, I personally, I want to create something where I'm going to now be reviewing uh, labs and research to find out who's really doing something that actually means something. And then I want to fund those groups. But I, at the same time, I want to do a lot more research. And, and it's like, that's all my mission in life is to just continue doing research to get rid of all the things that, that uh, make us unhappy. You know, yeah. it's diseases and every kind you can imagine. <clears throat> now, there's going to be problems with curing aging. Uh, you know, there's going to be problems with overpopulation and how will the young ever get jobs if the old never retire, things like that. Um, and somebody else is going to have to figure out those problems. Yeah. I'm not going to stop trying to cure aging because of those problems because I believe in 200 years from now when all those problems, in fact, are true, um, then uh, nobody's going to say, well, we need to ban the cure for aging because aging is terrible. Most people don't even realize if they, what, how bad it is and, People start spending more time going into like hospices and assisted living homes and nursing homes. They start realizing that there's a really, really big problem in the world today. And that's the misery and unhappiness of old people who can't take care of themselves. Yes. Let me, no, let me give you my email address right now. It's B as in boy. You. Hmm. Why did you guys uh, have to end up pushing it back further to May? Is it because of funding reasons or? Others, or are you guys not oh, ready? Partially funding, but definitely not the. Even even if the funding did come through, we couldn't have done it because, you know, we don't want it, to. It's it's really expensive to treat one person cost us four hundred thousand dollars. Okay, and uh, uh, that price has recently come down. I used to say it cost us about three yes. million dollars, but now it's uh, uh, we've figured out ways to do it where it only costs us about $400,000. But it has a lot of, um, you know, we, we don't want to expend even that much money unless we get every piece of data we can. So we want to be measuring uh, every biomarker of aging that you can imagine. Uh, and to do this requires blood samples be acquired and, uh, and sent off to different labs that do the testing. And if one of those labs says they're, they're not ready for it. We have to delay. Okay. Um, and, or if some regulatory organization says, well, we can approve everything else, but we can't approve this one test. Again, we, we delay until we get it ruled. So we get that result because as I said, we don't want to, I don't want to do this test and then not have the data. Yeah. And especially if, if the person doesn't get younger, I want to know why. I know you heard about the genetically modified twins in China. Um, yes. Do you think that they were the first of their kind? No. I, I think I think it's been done a lot of times. It's just way too easy not to have been done. Uh, genetically modifying a single cell is really easy. I mean, half the scientists here in my company can do that in their sleep. <laughs> okay. So the and then then turning that single cell into a human is easy. Yes. Um, but you did it, you did it uh, by first creating a single cell, and edited a single cell. Uh, this was like in 2010. And then uh, uh, he actually did the editing before even 2010. But then grew that into a mouse and then was able to study, study the uh, effects of that. Wow. Well, I really appreciate um, you actually taking this call. No one expected, especially a lot of people that I told, 
uh, ask my questions of some of my other friends. And, and as you get closer, um, is it all right if, you know, me and my classmates, you know, check up on your progress and stuff like that? Absolutely. Yes. So if you ever want to schedule a time to talk, just go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay. Is your calendar updated? Yes. My, I, I personally handle that calendar, uh, and uh, I do make errors every once in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, well, in fact, you were one of those errors. What did I do? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I put down that I was, and I put on the calendar that I was going to be uh, traveling to Sacramento. Yes. Speak at a conference tomorrow night. I, but I, I had it marked as available. Well, I'll probably call you back in like, I don't know, like a month or two, I guess. Okay. Um, so, I, once again, I really do appreciate you taking the time to call. Where, yeah. where are you located, just out of curiosity? Um, I am in Kansas, Garden City. Kansas, Garden City? Is that anywhere near Kansas City, Missouri? Uh, no, um, Garden City is west. Like on the west Dallas. side of Kansas, like the close to the two hours out of Colorado. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I was just gonna say because Labella, is, their main headquarters is actually Kansas City, Missouri. Oh. Yeah, but uh, th I was gonna say if you're from nearby, you should just stop by and uh, say hello. All right. Well, good. Um, I look forward to giving you better news about or give good news about the uh, clinical study soon. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was so fudging cool, guys. <laughs>